kind of you to take an interest. I'm afraid it's a case of the war horse and the drum. You know my late husband was a doctor. I do. I'm familiar with Dr. Crowley's work on the symptoms of infection in children. Oh. Even I studied nursing during the South African War. Really? <laughs> <clears throat> Very distressing. Young farmer, John Drake, tenant of Lord Grantham's, came in today. It's dropsy, I'm afraid. Thank you. May I see him? Yeah, by all means. Is the dropsy of the liver or the heart? Everything points to the heart. <coughs> all right, Mr. Drake, you're in safe hands now. What would happen to his wife? She may try to keep the farm on. Grantham is not a harsh landlord, but her children are young. What can I do to help? If I'm to live in this village, I must have an occupation. Please, let me be useful. May I? I must compliment you, Mrs. Crawley. When you made your offer, I thought you might be a great lady nurse and faint at the sight of blood. But I see you're made of sterner stuff. It's definitely the heart. It's almost too quiet to hear at all. I'm afraid so. I've been thinking about the treatments that are available. Considerable success has been achieved over the last few years by draining the pericardial sac of the excess fluid and administering adrenaline. Mrs. Crawley, I appreciate your thoroughness. But you're unwilling to try it? Injection of adrenaline is a comparatively new procedure. It's a while ago now, but I saw my husband do it. I know how. Uh, please, Mrs. Crawley, don't, don't force me to be uncivil. We would be setting an impossible precedent when every villager could, could demand the latest fad in treatment for each new cut and graze. I would remind you that we're not talking of a cut or a graze, but the loss of a man's life and the ruin of his family. Of course. But I beg you to see that it is not reasonable. I have the adrenaline here in my hand. Will you really deny the man his chance of life? I just wish it was a treatment I was more familiar with. Will that serve as your excuse when he dies? Nurse, can you prepare Mr. Drake for his procedure, please? Well, Mrs. Crowley, I have a feeling we will sink or swim together. Mr. Drake, your heart is not functioning properly, and as a result, your pericardial sac is full of fluid. I am proposing first to withdraw the fluid and then to inject the adrenaline to stimulate the heart and restore normal activity. Is it dangerous, Doctor? The draining may stop the heart, and the adrenaline may not be able to restart it. Mrs. Drake, the choice is simple. If your husband endures this procedure, he may live. If not, he will die. Please, please, no, let me pass. I must see the doctor. At once. Your ladyship. Just as I thought. Dr. Clarkson, tell me you will not permit this amateur to influence your professional opinion. Amateur? My dear woman, do not let them bully you. They'll not disturb the peace of your husband's last hours, not if I can help it. But that's just it, my lady. I don't want them to be his last hours. Not if there's a chance. Please, Doctor, do what you must. As president of this hospital, I feel I must... Valve. Tell you, I shall bring this to the attention of the board. You're doing very well. Have 
Adrenaline. 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 Ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, my dear. 